What's up folks, it's Matt from Three Pound Fishing and today I've got a special episode. We are actually gonna be filming at, you guessed it, or maybe you didn't guess it, Perry County Lake. This is a small lake in Missouri and I've got a special treat for you. We're gonna be looking at the force from Garmin because yes, I'm considering changing from the Ultrex, the one I made a video about, to the force. I've heard so many great things, I got a buddy here that's gonna help us walk us through it to make that decision. And maybe at the end of this episode, I could be purchasing one, who knows, but I'm excited, man. We get to see the forest, the Garmin. There's not many of these out here and we're gonna get to look at it from a crappie man, crappie angler's perspective. So stoked, stay tuned, please subscribe. Let's get on some crappie and check out this, this new technology. All right, folks, I'm on, the, I'm on the water. I'm getting my first experience with the Garmin Forest and Eric has been so kind to, uh, this is my buddy Eric, by the way. Eric. Hey, how's it going? So uh, he's been so kind to kind of give me kind of a brief walkthrough of the Garmin Force, and here it is right here. I'm sure I'll be showing you some uh, some close-ups of it, some uh, some B-roll as they call it, I guess. But I guess the first impressions I get compared to the Ultrex is the size of it. This thing is massive. I would like to venture to say that actually the body of the Garmin is twice as big as the Ultrex. But He's showing me now how reactive the head is, and also we're looking at the spot lock function of it. I don't know what my conclusion is yet, but I love seeing, this is the first crappie angler I've seen with a Garmin force on. So we're gonna catch some fish, put some fish in the boat, and uh, we're gonna walk through a lot of what this uh, force has to offer. I think what are the, also the other thing that I've noticed big time is that you don't have that huge cable coming out. So check this out. Cable management system is pretty awesome. What do you like most about it right now? What's your, how long have you had it, I guess, would be the other question. You're one of the first. <laughs> Couple months, maybe. What do you like about it? What's your favorite? Everything, I like everything about it. It's just an awesome troll motor. So he came from kind of your standard, uh, kind of like the Ultrax, I guess, maybe an older version, cable driven, big honking cable. He showed me the, the power that the Garmin Force has this is an 18 foot boat. Yeah, 18 by 72. And we just flew down the lake with it. That's that's pretty nice to see the power. I haven't, I guess, I'm trying to experience the, the sound. You know, is it, is it quiet as, as they're talking? It's a yeah, brushless I mean, I motor know. system. Put that sucker on, let's see what that thing. I'll tell you what, I don't hear anything. I really don't. It's got a nice power indicator here on the top. I, I definitely like that. I love the ability to know exactly where you're at power wise rather than having to look down at your pedal. The power knob on the pedals click, so you hear the clicks, but then you also see the light on the, uh, on the Garmin Force body. Easy to pick up and it does rotate automatically to stow. So I like it so far. I am surprised by how big it is. I'll say that again. So it is big. It, it is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. All right, let's catch some fish. I can, you know. All right, folks, this is exciting. The number one thing people are talking about in the crappie industry, amongst other things, is definitely Garmin and the Force. This trolling motor is new, it's hot, it's what everybody's talking about. And this is your first glimpse at it from a crappie fisherman's viewpoint. Let me tell you, we talked a lot during this trip and I am literally making a choice between my Ultrex and the Force. I've saved my hard earned money. Folks, this costs $3,200, we'll round it off to about there. And it's no small investment. So let's get educated, let's make good choices. Here we go. So Perry County Lake is a 101 acre is it man-made, do you remember? Do you know if it's man-made? It's a 100 acre lake located in Perryville, Missouri. Uh, it's beautiful, small, it's quaint. It's something maybe you don't want to run a big motor, probably only a 9.9, I would assume. Anyway, it is a 9.9. We're using just the Garmin Force, um, but maybe not the biggest fish, but really nice, nice little lake. Um, got a public boat ramp. Check it out, folks. I'm sure everybody else does with LiveScope. It, uh, Right. You see those darn fish and you just can't help but think they're not going to bite. Um, so it's interesting. I would think that the head of the Garmin Force is backwards. Like I would think the skinny part would be the uh, which way you're projecting. I know I'm looking at that, that arrow. Mm -hmm. um, but to me it's, it's, 
It's almost like the skinny part should be up front. I would get used to that though. But it's interesting, huh? I'm looking for that arrow. All right, so without a doubt, one of the things that I picked up on quickly is the size of the unit, but also how the head seems to be backwards. I would expect that narrow part, the, sh the skinny part, to be where we're pointing. So I'm always relating back to that small little arrow they have on top. And I emphasize small because I kept trying to look for it. So these are little things. These are not deal breakers whatsoever. I figure I can, can get used to them, but just things that to consider. Gotta be a good size one in there. Ooh, there's a good one swimming around right there. The four foot. And I know everything takes you gotta get used to something different. Right. Um, but I noticed there's something springy. Yeah. And I don't know if you can tighten it up. You might be able to tighten it up. For, for me, just coming from an all tracks and what I'm used to feeling. Right, it's gonna be different. Oh yeah, 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 without a doubt. The construct feels really good, really solid. Was it, it heavy? All the mounting holes down in it. Was it heavy? Yeah, when the guy delivered it to my house, UPS guy was like, "I ain't never felt the trolling motor this heavy." <laughs> I was like, "Man, I have no idea." And it was like, "Yeah, both of us carried it over to the." For the garage. Now where's our tree at? So this is the remote for the uh, the Garmin Force. Now I do understand that it is uh, waterproof. Will float? Well, they say it will. Yeah, they say it will float. I don't know if we're going to test that, but uh, there it is, right there. You know, it's good size. It's it's not too big. I actually like it. It's kind of light. Uh, I like the idea that it floats and that it's waterproof. You can tell that it is good construct. Feels good in the hands. Good size. Thumbs up on it. For sure. All right, so let me tell you what I thought I liked about the Garmin Force immediately. I like the power. I like how quiet it was. I like the cable management system. I thought those th three things were the best things that the Force had to add. The question for me always becomes, is that worth upgrading from an old Trax? Here we go. Yeah, there's some, there's a, there's something springy. There's almost a lag. See that? See this? I could. I could. So I would say that it's definitely as reactive as the Ultrex. It moves as quick left and right, is what I mean by that. And that was a huge factor for me. That's what I really like about the Ultrex, is that it can really shoot one way or the other. I'm a little concerned about the pedal. There seems to be some type of give. Is that, is that, are we hitting something you think or? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That right there. Lots of react to the minnow and. Oh yeah. It's just. Live scope's been, live scope has changed the world. <laughs> it's like. You know, I'll tell you something. It's I'll turn. So the, I'm deciding whether or not I want to get the force, and I haven't I haven't decided yet. I can tell you I like the construct, the constru construction of it. I think it's definitely solid, good reactiveness. I love the cable management system. That's without a doubt. Um, Minn Kota needs to come up with something like that. The Bluetooth Connect, this this pedal, you know. But there, my only concern right now would be the pedal for sure. And I don't know if it's because I'm having to put my foot way up here, which I'm not used to in regards to the recess that I currently have. Um, there's so many other factors. It is quiet. It is definitely strong. It's a beast. I mean, it needs to be strong. It's, it's, a, it's a big guy. You don't feel that in the boat because obviously it's, it's up there on the bow. It's out of your way regardless. I keep getting hung up. So it's interesting I keep going back to the pedal it's almost like you're pushing through a sponge before you get the head to move which is completely different than the Ultrex I think the Ultrex pedal is made stout commercial it feels very sturdy strong this pedal didn't necessarily feel that way so I can't wait to get on somebody else's boat to see if that same feeling holds true there as well but see it's got a groove channel on this side so you want to put that cable in that channel I 
want to put the What are the advantages? Built-in SI, built-in DI, this awesome propeller that allows for the efficiency and the strength that this Garmin Force has. Those things are incredible, folks. Pulling it in and out of the water is easy. I do not like this head. I'm sorry. I think it's backwards, and I think the little arrow on top is extremely small, something that's hard to get used to. But I do like the power indicator, and that makes it very easy for you to know exactly where I stand. The pedal, though, folks, it could be the, the thing that breaks the camel's back without a doubt. Um, I can't figure out why the pedal is give, has some give to it. Now the reactiveness, the side motion back and forth of the trolley motor itself is actually top notch. And I think it's very close to the old Trex. So my biggest hang up is gonna be the pedal folks. I'm gonna leave it right there. I think this is a great trolley motor, but right now I'm gonna hold off till I get another experience with it so that I can make a really informed decision on it and by the way there's another episode coming on that thanks for watching another three pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies